profound diversity. The anthropological study of religion shows us that, for all our similarities and contrary to popular belief, religions really are quite different from each other. These are not simply the same words being spoken with different accents, but entirely different words, different visions. We started this semester, for example, discussing Jainism, including the commitment to nonviolence or ahimsa, extending to not only comprise veganism, but even the straining of water and covering of faces. Um, and we might add that Jains have written agama, have actually written down agama texts which convey complex, multi-layered cosmologies and reincarnation uh, theology. The, there's veneration of Tithankaras, Ford Crossers, previous human beings who have brought enlightenment to humanity in their final life. This Jainism is not the same as the oral traditions and hunting ceremonies of Inuits, where community shamans traditionally would plunge to the bottom of the ocean to convince the masters of the spirits to send prey animals for their community. And this is not the same as Mayan Catholics venerating San Simon and all the many complexities that reveals about contemporary Mayan identity in Central America. This, in turn, is not the same as the Islamic veiling practices among mosque movement women in Egypt, which we read about, or the deep relationship of inner individual virtue and outward action that this movement suggested. None of this, in turn, is the same as joyous Aboriginal Australian collective clan dancing, although Durkheim seemed to think that this was more or less the basis of everything. Just kidding. So none of these things are really the same. They have their own complex histories, their own objectives, origins, belief systems, and values. Uh, as one religious scholar suggests Stephen Pothero, it's not so much many paths up one mountain, it's also, from another point of view, many paths going up entirely different mountains. From that point, I would add, we do a disservice to pretend that these are all the same, whether in negative terms, i.e., religion is control, religion is people avoiding death, or even positive terms, oh, religion is just different ways of saying be nice to each other. Although there's some truth, perhaps, to such commonalities, it also does, potentially does a disservice if we take it too far. Much like intense heat can cause a painting's hues to run together and therefore destroy the image, the rich tapestry of human religious diversity loses its patterns, its meanings, if we insist on using only one color, or pretending that many colored threads are in fact the same one color. A colorblind approach to religion, I think, is not much better than a colorblind approach to race, which has been criticized by many, many scholars. So it is not a compliment to suggest that what I am and what you are the same if they are not. Instead, it can do a disservice to us both by denying our uniqueness. I am proud of my uniqueness, and I hope all of you are too. And I believe we can all thrive in this world without being the exact same.